Here. Hey, AJ! Bro, grab my phone! Addiction is a serious threat to anyone who is vulnerable. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The bad effects increase tenfold if illicit substances are involved. Give me my hat back! You'll get it back. We're not Give me my hat money. back! From someone trying to sell contraband to someone throwing a temper tantrum when a family member threw away theirs, here are some incidents where cops had to handle individuals with contraband issues. What's up, man? How you doing, boss, man? I, I, I didn't mean to come call you out your office or even mess with you. The first incident revolves around a 34-year-old man named Jerome. On June 15th, 2023, in Elgin, Illinois, an officer was patrolling a high crime area known for the sales and use of contraband. The officer observed Jerome interacts with three people in the vicinity, including what appeared to be hand-to-hand -hand transactions in the parking lot. Jerome appeared to look in the officer's direction and immediately walked away from the subject he was with. He made contact with Jerome, who was hostile, and immediately asked for a supervisor. The K-9 unit was called to conduct an open-air sniff on Jerome's vehicle. The officer asked for Jerome's driver's license and vehicle insurance. Jerome instead started to complain that he did not break any traffic rules. The officer promptly told him all the rules he had broken. Officer McMillan, police department. You got your license and insurance on you today. Yeah, can you call the lieutenant for me? I need, I want to supervise. Okay, still need the ID though. Okay. There you go, right? Should I suspend it? Got it. A lady car. A lady's car? Okay. Oh, can you see if you can find it for me? I don't, I don't, I don't have it. Get the white shirt here. I don't, I'm not with following me. Over. Yeah, no probable cause. I didn't violate no rules or rules. Well, no, you don't no. got a seatbelt on. Didn't use a turn signal. I did use You were speeding. Nope. Right there. You were speeding. Got a brake light out. Okay. Don't got insurance on the car. Your which looks like you're banned from. So. I look like I'm banned from there. Hey, man, just call the white shirt. The officer again asked for his insurance, but he told the officer to issue him the ticket so he could leave. A supervisor started to talk with him. Jerome began to explain the situation to the supervisor. All right, Jerome, you got the insurance? I told you I don't have it. You want to look for it or? No, I don't want to look for it. If you're going to give me my ticket, give me my ticket. Okay. I got the supervisor out here. So okay. I'm going to talk to you. Okay. okay. You sure you don't want to try to call your girl? I don't want to do nothing. Write your tickets, what you going to do, and leave me alone. Who can ask why you're being so hostile with me? Because you pulled me over for nothing. So just let me talk to the lieutenant. I don't even want to talk to you. Can I have my ID and my tickets? That's all. You talking, You talking, You pick up? You did. You can. Okay. What's up, man? How you doing, boss, man? I, I, I didn't mean to come call you out your office or even mess with you. Okay. I dropped some money off to my niece and nephew in the towers, them Project Section 8 towers, whatever. Mm -hmm. Boom, I go to JJ's, I get some water, I see somebody I know, boom, I chop it up with them. I pull out the parking lot. Mm -hmm. He come from behind me from like, where, like if you coming down the hill. Yeah. An officer inquired where Jerome was coming from. He then informed him that he was barred from a few businesses. A K-9 unit arrived at the scene and began sniffing the outside of the vehicle. Hey, where we come from today over there by, uh, by Chicago State? I was coming from JJ's. Okay. That's when you came from behind me. You, you know what's okay. going on. Well, so I'm asking you because you, you're, you're, you know you're barred from over there, right? I never know I was barred from over there. I but never... It says it says you were served with some paper. Okay. Do you remember that? I was served some paper, papers by Cricket, okay. not JJ's. Okay. Were you in Cricket today? No, I wasn't. Okay. So you were just sitting, when you are in the lot, you were just at Pepper? I, I went to JJ's, got some water, came out. Okay. You bought some water? by Cricket. You bought some water, you said? I bought some water. Is it in the car with you now? No, I drunk it and threw it away. All right. Sure, you want to check the insurance for me? Please just give me my tickets for okay. going about well, my I, business. I needed to clarify because, like I said, you're banned from from one of the stores over there. You said so JJ's. I had to look now, in. now, okay. now well, it's, it's I had to look, I had to look into it. That's why I wanted to clarify. Okay, okay. okay. Let this me get going on some tickets like for you. All right. Find dope. 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 Off. Find dope. Find dope, find dope, find dope, find dope, find dope, find dope. The K-9 unit alerted for contraband. When the officer told Jerome that the vehicle will be searched, he told the cop that he will sue them if they did so. The officer then tried to handcuff him, but he started to resist. A physical altercation ensued. Is that a positive? Yes. 
Ah, man. Look, here's the deal, all right? We could make this real easy. If some in the car, just let us know. All right? Bro, I, if you search that car, I need your ticket number. I will be suing you. Okay. That's totally fine. I will be suing so you. So I want to know now. Again, let's just make it real easy. Okay. Is there anything in the car to shoot me the car, my man? My man, if you search that car, I will sue you. Okay. I heard, I'm going to ask you again. My man, don't say nothing to me. I got the right to remain silent. If you get in that car, my man, you search that car, you will get sued. I'm gonna check you, so put your hands on top of your head. Uh, I, I didn't do nothing. Put your hands on top of your head. I didn't do nothing. Why is you? Why, why is you put doing? Your, okay. I, 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 man, right. I didn't do nothing. Right. What is he doing? Hey, right. hey, right. let me. Hey, right. I didn't no. do nothing. Hey, right. let's just keep going. Right. Keep going, Hey, right. I, I didn't do nothing. You're violating my right. You're violating my right. I didn't do nothing. I didn't do nothing. I didn't do nothing. I didn't do nothing. Relax. Right now, we'll just get. I didn't do nothing. We can readjust. We calm down. I didn't do nothing. Okay. I didn't do nothing. Hey, record. Record. Hey, get off me. Roll up, I didn't dude. Do nothing. Hey, stop acting get, like a. Get off let's me. Go. I get, roll up. Don't get off me. I man, get off me. Okay. I get off me. Hey, you put your knee in my roll. back. You roll. put your knee in roll my up. back. Roll up. I record. I record. I record. I didn't do nothing. I didn't do nothing. The officers were able to handcuff him. One of them then started to search him for contraband. Jerome started to become even more agitated. Officers were able to find a bag filled with contraband on him. I'm gonna check your pockets. Hey, you better tear me out. Get off me. Hey, get off me. Get off me. Hey, 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 get off me. If you kick me, if you kick me, it's gonna be a charge. Hey, if you kick me, it's gonna be a charge. Hey, get off me. I get all me! I, I, I put that in there. I get all me! I get all me! Help! 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 Get all me! There it is. Can you just sit up so you can breathe? No. No. Get off me. Look, I want to make this real nope. easy. Okay. And not going to be sit easy. Up. And not going to be easy. You want to really lay down on, in yep. your face? Yep. This is what you want? Yup. You illegally search me. Jerome was then carried to a police cruiser. One of the officers tried to reason with him. They were able to convince him to sit in the cruiser. After searching the vehicle, the officers were able to locate more contraband and a loaded firearm. I'm gonna stand up. Here, try and get him on his, put him on his feet. What do we flip? Let's land on gently. Put him on his knees. Okay, sit up on your knees, okay? Come on, Jerome. I made you my hand up! Jerome, sit, sit up. up on your knees. What y'all doing, man? You're doing this to yourself. I'm doing right here, I'm doing too much. Jerome, sit up, dude. I made you up. Hold him on his back. What is you doing? Listen up, dude. It's over. You're screaming and you're flopping around, okay? Stand up and get in there. We don't want to drag you in there. It's the last thing we want to do. But you're making this incredibly difficult. What's that? Snap some, snap some pictures. Yeah, hold on. Let's get a picture, Johnny. That's fine, man. Look, dude, I got a job I got to do, all right? I don't care. Okay. okay. All right. Let me know if you get too warm. I'll turn AC on for you. Yeah. Later, Jerome was transported to jail. Jerome was charged with possession of contraband with intent to deliver. Unlawful possession of a weapon by a felon aggravated unlawful use of a weapon, and resisting or obstructing an officer with injury. While Jerome tried to intimidate the cops with a lawsuit, our next individuals tried to claim racism as a means to get out of their predicament. But before that, let's see what happens when grown men decides to needless argue with the officers. The next incident revolves around three men. On July 19, 2023, in Menominee Falls, Wisconsin, a police officer conducted a traffic stop of a vehicle due to speeding. As the windows were rolled down, he could smell an odor believed to be marijuana emanating from inside. The vehicle had three occupants who were instructed to step out to facilitate a safe search for suspected marijuana. Officers initiates the traffic stop. He approached the vehicle and asked the occupants why they did not immediately stop. Rather, why did they stop after entering a parking lot? 
The officer then collects the ID of the driver. You roll all the windows down for me. What's going on? Why are you trying to dip out on me? God, like this where we was going. I can sit right here. Yeah, we was here. Not the food. That's all. Can I see the address? You pulled a U-turn real fast and pulled in here. When a cop turns their lights on, you're no, supposed I, to pull over right away. All right? Yeah. You shouldn't be pulling to the back of a parking lot when no. someone turns their lights no, on. No, we understand that, but we was coming here anyway. So it was like, instead of holding up traffic and stopping, right we just pulled right here. The customer requested you hand them okay. the order. You should still stop right away. Mm -hmm. All right? And you're not getting out of the car right now to deliver that. Okay? You got an ID on you? You have a Wisconsin license or no? No. You live in Arkansas? No, I'll, that's where I do live. Well, yeah, now, but like, I'm visiting here now. You're visiting right now? Okay. But he lived here before. He then informed them that they were speeding. The officer then inquired about the vehicle and other information. The cop, the two passengers, to show him their IDs. Meanwhile, the driver was on the phone with someone. He also informed them that he was smelling marijuana from the vehicle. I stopped because you're going 49 and a 30, just so you know. Okay, you're going 19 over. All right, is this your vehicle? Whose vehicle is this? Your big sister's? Okay. Is this your current address, Little Rock? Do you have an address up here? Nothing? How long are you staying up here? Do right, you guys have IDs on you? Yeah, I do. It's in my book bag. Where is it? My book bag. Where's that? You can grab it. Oh. You got ID, man? Yeah, hey, she said, why do you need an ID if it's a traffic stop? I'm just asking. He just asked. You was just asking. So you don't need to see it? You asking for it? Yes. But I, yeah. I don't have to show it? As the passenger, you don't have to give it to me, but I'm asking you for it. Well, that's cool, then. Okay. Do you have anything here you shouldn't have? No, sir. We didn't. Okay. Because it smells like marijuana. Yeah. The officer asked the all of them to exit the vehicle. Meanwhile, additional officers arrived at the scene. One of the passengers refused to follow orders when the cop told him to leave his phone behind. He instead became argumentative. The officers had to apprehend him. All right, why don't you step out for me? Me? Yep. Why all three of you come out? You gonna search the car? Leave the oh, phone in there, sir. Step out, leave the phone. Keep your hand out of your pockets. Hey, what's his name? TJ. Listen, he said leave. Why you got my phone? Leave the phone in there. Why can't he have his phone? Leave the phone in there. Why can't he have his phone? Because I'm telling you, you can't right now. Getting something. Is that a long list? Put your phone in there right now. Put your phone in there. Put your phone in there because I'm going to search the car for marijuana. Okay, we're investigating something. You're not allowed on the phone. Put it in there. I'm not going to ask you again. It's a lawful order. So it's a lawful order that we can't have. Put it in there. That's what sound dumb. Put it in there. Put your phone in there. I don't care, money. You get a phone. I'm not going to ask you again. I'm not going to ask you again. Ask your face on. Money up. Turn around. Turn around. Stop. Stop resisting right now. Grab my phone, bro. I can't have a phone. What are you talking about? Pulse 2 11 Hey, can't we record? Ain't that all right to record, my nigga? Hey, ain't that all right to record? The officer placed him in front of a police cruiser. He then searched him for contraband. After the search, the man was placed inside the police cruiser. I'm telling you to face the car. Don't move and face the car. Don't move. Don't move. Face the car. Everything on you that's gonna poke me? No.
Spread your feet. Spread your feet. You're under arrest for obstruction. Bro, what? Obstruction. Obstruction. Back in the car. The other two men also became agitated. They started to argue with the officers. Another officer came and separated the two men. Okay, but they took him to Relax. Yes, I will talk to you. We don't gotta talk to nobody else. Why is he getting arrested? Why is there so many people here? It's just three of us. What's going on? We don't gotta talk to none of them. We're talking to him. Who pulled us out? I'm Tina. Put this down for a minute. Hold on. We don't gotta put it down. Wait, no, wait, We don't gotta put it down. Look. Wait, just let him talk. Now, why is he being arrested? Do you want me to explain to you what's going on? Put your phone down. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to you. I don't have to put my phone down. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you, I'm not talking to you. You really want to do you this? You just sit it up, I'm you talking to the same thing. Bro, put your phone down. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't waste the money. It's not a law that I have to put my phone down. You're talking to me, so talk to me. You're not arresting me, you're not doing shit. Let me see, Tina. I'm gonna sit the phone down. Take him to the side and hang on him over there. We good. Come with me, now. Okay, talk to They started to the men separately. One of the men were being uncooperative. An officer tried to explain the situation, but the man refused to let him talk. The men tried to walk toward each other, but the officers promptly stopped them. Okay, talk Who's to Who's on the phone with you? I don't have to tell you that. Why are you being like this? Because it's my right. You're making this more You think you're better than me because you're a police officer? No. You came over here and you arrested him here for having his phone. No, you see how dumb that's that shit sound? Why, why is it then? Why, why is he in the back of your I car? I you guys over. Why is he in the back of your car? That's do, what do I'm asking. Do you want me to explain or no? Answer my question. Just talking over Answer me. my question. I'm trying to Answer talk to you. Answer my question. I pulled you guys over. Answer my question. Really? Yes. Okay. I'm not talking about this. I have it, man. No. Stay here. Stay here. Stay here. Stay here. I'm moving around. Just throw it. That's what I'm telling you. Can you just throw it? I'm moving around. I'm not finna fight with no police officer. Excuse me. Bro, if you just throw the phone, I'm not finna fight with no police officer. Just throw the phone. During the search of the vehicle, one of the officers located a cannabis product. The officer then discussed the situation and his findings with another officer. They decided to question the men. Hey, Keen. Find it? No. There are like some of the teeniest, tiniest little green flakes in here. We got this. Cannabis flower. No. This product. I'll go back by that and talk about whether that's sufficient or not. Should we use multiple bags back here? No. So. As bag? far as marijuana, all we have is this. And it was under the front passenger seat, which is where the guy in the back of my car was sitting. Oh, but you had said so you had other stuff in this bag? In that bag are baggies and a scale, but no mm. no marijuana at all. Mm. So I think the plan is to ask them whose that is, that bag of cannabis, and see if they put it to someone. Mm -hmm. One of the men confessed that the cannabis product belonged to him. He was then apprehended by the officers. Meanwhile, the driver was becoming more and more agitated. The officers apprehended him as well. Both of them were placed inside separate police cruisers. Okay. Who's uh -huh. this belong to? You know it's mine. You know it's mine. It's my bag. You know it's mine. Everything? This wasn't in the bag. It's cool though. It's mine. You're claiming this? Yeah. No, I'm saying it's mine. Huh? Exactly. It's who? That's how dumb you sound. What is dumb ass? Is he looking at me? Is this yours? Yes. How many times I gotta tell you, bro? Okay. You stand up for me. Don't worry. No way. That's a bad Send friend of the car. I'm in my car. Hold on. They're gonna find out. 
Shut it down. I'm gonna get it Come grab my stuff. Here, bro. Can you grab stuff? Here. Hey, AJ! Hey, bro, grab my phone! Hey, AJ! Hey, AJ, just shut the fuck up and grab my phone! They right there. You don't Wait. have to say. Just pick the stuff up on the ground. Bro, don't touch my phone. AJ. Bro. Stop oh resisting. I'm not resisting. You all are on me. That's a resisting. The hell, man. You're on me. I'm not resisting. Make sure they're locked. Yep. Hold You're on. obviously locked. No. Safety lock them, okay? Oh, Take a breath. Hold on. Bro. Oh, well, I'll give you the opportunity. I need, oh, bro, you, to, I need you to no calm reason, down. Y'all owe me for no reason right I need you now. To Tell me why y'all owe me right now. Tell me why y'all owe me right now. You got your knee in my back, bro. I can't even breathe, bro. You're on your side. You're doing yeah. too much. Get off of me. You got your knee all up in my back and shit. Stop bro, resisting. Shut my wrist, bro. That's hurt. He's trying to break my wrist. Let go of my wrist. That's hurt. Bro, he's trying to break my wrist, bro. It hurt. Why is you grabbing on me like that, bro? I can stand up on my own. Let go. Who are you yelling at? Unfortunately, the fate of the three men are not clear as what charges were brought up against them is yet to be made public. As mentioned before, now we will see how these individuals tried to wiggle their way out of a hairy situation with the law enforcement. I did it. I swear to God, I swear I'm blessed life. I'm doing it wrong. The last incident revolves around an 18-year-old girl named Anne Kostecki and a 33-year-old man named Vong Lor. On February 10th, 2023, in Wausau, Wisconsin, police responded to a family disturbance at a residence. Anne was being aggressive against her family members when they threw out her contraband. She reportedly left the home while police were en route. The suspect's vehicle was shortly located. During the stop, police also discovered that the driver of the vehicle, Vong, had previous warrants. The officers located the vehicle and conducts a traffic stop. They instructed Vong to exit the vehicle. An officer asked Vong about what was going on. He tried to explain the situation. 10 miles an hour, failing to yield. Turn the car off and step out, driver only. Driver only. Wait, what's going on, man? Uh, uh, nothing much. I just got the. She told me to come pick her up, so I just came pick her up. Who is that? That's uh, 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 uh Anna. Anna. Yeah. Okay. Why, why weren't you stopping then? Because we were on the highway. You know. It wasn't on the highway that entire road. It wasn't was a registered car, so I I just recently bought the car, so I just took it for a so test. Typically, ride. red and blue lights mean stop, right? Right. Right. And I the siren. Want, I just want to stop right in the middle of traffic, you know. You weren't in the middle of traffic. I was up on the, the highway the side, and then you got off the road. Yeah. I just want to get out of here. Yep, Another officer started to talk with Anna. He inquired about the family dispute. The officer informed her that another cop was talking to her mother, and she was not free to leave the scene. Hi, Anna. Officer Lord, watch, please. Yeah. Hey, so were you at your mom's place just earlier? No. So why am I getting a report that you bit your mom and stuff? What's going on? Okay, so you didn't bite her or any, do, fight with her or anything like that? No, I did not. No? Okay. You've been doing good? Yeah. You've had, a, you've had a lot of bad runs with the police. And the, so you, your mom's trying to get you put in jail for what? Because um, I haven't paid for rent. Paid her rent? Okay. So you've been living with mom? Yeah. For how, how old are you, Anna, again? I'm 18. You're 18? Okay. Alrighty. So I guess what, so I know you said, I guess how has the relationship with you and your mom been the last couple days? It's horrible. Horrible? You've been drinking a lot? Not really? Just a little bit, but... Just a little bit tonight? Yes. Okay. Were well, you drinking at the house? Yes. Yeah? Okay. Did you and your mom argue tonight or something? Okay. What were you guys arguing about? Having drinks? Okay. Alrighty, Anna. So, I just want to let you know what's going on going on moving forward, okay? So, we have another officer at your mom's place just talking with her. It says right now you're, you're not free to go. Okay, but keep being cool with me, and I'll be cool with you, okay? We're understanding? Yeah. Alright. Cool. All right. Meanwhile, Officers discovered that Vong had active warrants for his arrest. They promptly apprehended him and informed him about his warrants. When asked, he told the cops that his warrants were for contraband-related reasons. Temple. Okay. So I just want to clarify, you know nothing about what happened there. You only know Anna through friends. Yeah. Okay. Is there anything in the car I should know about? 
Yeah. You know, I just, oh I just pressed the bar, so I don't know. Okay. Yeah. All right, go ahead and just turn around for me, okay? Okay. Try and put your back. You have a warrant up for your arrest, did you know that? No. Okay. When was the last time you saw your PO? What's happening with it? What was that? He's got warrants. So we gotta address that. What were you on probation for? Uh, drugs. What's that? Drugs. Drugs. The officer told Anne that she could not sit in Vong's vehicle as they needed to secure it. However, as she refused to be searched, another officer informed her that she could not sit in the cruiser either. In the meantime, Vong kept arguing with an officer. He claimed that he was arrested because of racism. Well, I'm not. I'm not saying you are. It's just I just we just have to we just have to secure the car since it's his. Yeah. So here's a right. He's going to jail because he has a warrant on for his arrest. Okay. We don't know yet. Then I don't want to go with. I don't. You don't have to sit on. in the back of the car, but you have to get out of this car so I can secure it and get his keys to him. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate it. This keys. Huh. I'm detain can I go sit in the car? It's kind of cool. Yes, ma'am. Are you cool if I pat you down real quick for just weapons? No, I'm good. Okay, then you can't get in my car, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm good. All right. Close that window. Yep, we'll, we'll get everything taken care of, okay? Yeah, I was wondering why I'm going to jail. I mean, I told you, you guys got talked two, to my. I told you you got two warrants. That's why you're going I have to jail. My, should you guys talk to my attorney? I have an attorney for the, uh, all the cases. Why I'm, no, you have two warrants for your arrest, so you're going to jail. This has nothing to do with talking to your attorney. Yeah, because I have, any, I have I nothing to do. Fun. Listen, I have no say in warrants, nothing like that, other than I know that you have one and I have to take you to jail. Right, because uh, I was driving around Anna around, right? I'm um, just saying Thank uh, you. How about how you guys uh, uh, interact with us people. I don't know what that means. Minority people. That, you guys let, your, let yeah. her walk. But All right. I get a freaking... All right, we're done. We're done with this yeah, conversation. Exactly, we're not going to go you guys, you guys know exactly what you guys are doing. The officer warned Anne to not walk away. Her father also arrived at the scene, and the officer tried to explain the situation to him. Anne also gave her accounts of the altercation to her father. They're on their way, okay? Anna, you don't need to be like this, okay? Anna, I'm gonna put my hands on you if you don't stop walking away, okay? I'm not gonna play this game with you, all right? Okay, that's fine. You can call me whatever names you, you want. That's fine. That's, that's fine. If that's what you think, that's okay. This, that's what I think, that's Okay. Are you Anna's dad? Yes. Okay. All right. So uh, let me get uh, into a, oh, I guess, a physical altercation with mom at the apartment and then her sisters. There's some sort of allegation of some kind of physical altercation. I don't know any specifics about that. Um, but we got an officer over here coming here to talk to Anna. Ethan um, shoved me down a staircase. That's the physical altercation that happened. I was trying to run away because. They said they were going to call the police on me because I wouldn't leave mom's apartment <laughs> because I was drinking. <laughs> so Ethan shut me down in the staircase. Who is this Ethan? You didn't tell me anything My about that? My sister's boyfriend. Sister's boyfriend? Okay. Yeah. I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't. I swear to God. I swear I'm plus life. I didn't do anything wrong. Where's the po police that's going to talk to me at? And out there on their way. Okay. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't tell them to hurry up anymore. Leave. I, I understand that. They're right there, they're... Vong was transported to jail while other officers arrived at the scene. The officer who talked with her mother started to talk with her. The officer explained what her mother and sister told him. Suddenly, she tried to run away, but the officers caught her immediately. You don't make the rules here, Anna. You're 18. You're an adult now. What's going on? Here, Putin Rider, you're Anna. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna take you. So you made some comments earlier. Who said that? Your sister and She's your mother. She's incorrect. And we have some evidence. She's, what's the evidence? How cooperative are you going to be right now? What's the evidence? Some messages that you sent both Where? of them on phones. Let me see. I've done it. Anna. Release your hands, okay? No. Release your hands. No, I'm releasing my hands. I'm not going to release my hands. Anna, please don't fight with us. with us. The sooner we can get you in a squad. No. We All really do not want to do this, Anna. No! 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 No!
I got her legs. I'm gonna let her. <laughs> the officers quickly handcuffed her. They also told her she will be facing charges for her actions. She was then helped to her feet and was escorted to a police vehicle. The cops placed a protective helmet on her to prevent her from hurting herself. Anna, just breathe for us, okay? I'm gonna get you flipped over on your side real quick. You guys are gonna die because What's of me. What's name? I don't know. Anna, Anna, what are you stop doing? Resisting. That is not going to do Anna, anything you're for gonna you. Anna, you're gonna lose. Just stay with me. Anna, you're gonna lose. Sir. Please stop. Then let me go. Let me hit my vape one more time. No, girl, we're way past that. Then let me hit my vape one more time. 212, Anna's 95. So Anna, you're gonna have some charges now today because of your behavior, okay? <laughs> Can I talk to my dad real quick? Can I talk to my dad really quick? Your dad's right there. He can hear. He can see I didn't us. I do anything wrong. No, you guys are hurting me. Well, the the sooner you stop dad, I didn't monkeying do anything around wrong. here, the quicker we can get you. I didn't do anything wrong. Anna, you literally just resisted arrest. Because you guys were trying to attack me for no reason. No, we weren't. We were asking for we your direct. I directed my uh, electronically controlled device. <laughs> Dead, oh my god. <laughs> He's dead. Coming up uh, to your feet now, alright? <laughs> yeah. Stop, don't touch my head. Give me my hat back. You'll get it back. We're not Give me my hat back. While being transported to the jail, Anne began to throw a temper tantrum. The alleged contraband, found in Anne's room, tested positive for illicit substance. You guys don't know shit. I hope you guys go to hell. Huh? Can you turn the heat on? Can you turn yeah, I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Can you turn the heat on? I'm freezing my... Oh, please. Yeah, I'll crank it as much as I can. Okay, There's no control you. back here, so I don't know how much will come back here, but I'll turn it up as high as I can. Do you need water or anything like that? No. Can you shut the door, please? I'm freezing! Yeah. Hey, you gotta relax a little bit. I you can't! You want us to help you walk inside where you'll be warm? Yeah, I've got the heat cranked. Are you feeling anything back there? Nope. No? Let me change it a little bit, see if I can make some magic happen for you. All right, they're ready for no, us. I'm We're good. gonna roll. I'm not ready yet. What? Can you please shut the door? No, nope, we're I'm going now. I was, I said I wasn't ready. Not everything goes at your schedule, okay? Vong Lor was arrested for his warrants. They were issued when he failed to appear before a judge. Anne Kostetsky was charged with possession of contraband, disorderly conduct, possession of contraband paraphernalia, and resisting or obstructing an officer. She was released on a $1,000 signature bond. For more true crime videos, hit the subscribe button.